Mmm, it's a orange juice. What's up everyone, this is Yarn from Orange Juice. With the removal of the 11th elixir, we're starting to see more giant combos, especially in tournament matches. To counter giant combos, you need to understand how to counter him alone. Most decks have at least one building. Use this building to pull the giant. If you don't run a defensive building in your deck and you keep losing to giants, perhaps it's time to consider integrating one into your current deck. This is very dependent on your meta. The optimal position is a 4-3 plant, which is planting the building 4 tiles from the river and 3 tiles from your arena tower. The Tesla is a bit smaller, but the same principles apply. This is the maximum distance to pull him. Even after the giant has crossed the river, you can plant the structure to pull him so long as he hasn't traveled greater than 2 tiles. Any further than this, and the giant will beeline straight to your arena tower. These building placement rules apply to all melee ground units that only target buildings. Depending on the situation, if you want the building to tank the support units, you may want to do a 4-2 plant where it's 4 tiles from the river and 2 tiles from the arena tower. I want to stress that these are the optimal building placements for optimal conditions. You may need to adapt the placement based on the playing field. When possible, treat all defenses as if there's a poison on the map. Fragile units planted on the outside radius, with mini tanks that can survive inside the radius. You don't want to put your eggs all in one basket. This denies your opponent from sending in a value fireball or poison. Depending on the type of deck you run, you can counter the approaching giant combo with different methods. If you know your opponent's rotation and you have a good hand, such as a pusher, a small splash unit, or spell, and a building, you can pressure the opposite lane to force your opponent to expend elixir in the other lane. They won't have enough elixir to execute their giant combo. Then you can counter the unsupported giant for a positive elixir trade. Ice Spirit and Musketeer also takes out Balloon without the assistance of the arena tower. If you have a momentum deck that requires a really large push, start by planting your support unit in the very back. An experienced giant user will have minions that will fly straight to your defensive structure. You can use this to your advantage by baiting them if you have fire spirits or a wizard in rotation. Typically, if the giant is supported with a splash unit, the mini P.E.K.K.A is ideal to take them out. This mini P.E.K.K.A directly counters their units while still remaining on the map, allowing you to snowball your defense into a huge counterattack. If you have an Inferno, use it as a zap bait. Release your small units after they reset your Inferno with a zap. They're now down a zap spell and you have small units on the map. Countering giant combos requires reading your opponent. Whenever a giant is planted in the back, you can expect a glass cannon or mini tank supporting him. The ideal situation for dealing with all of these small units is to address them individually. Pull the giant with a 4-3 plant. Your second arena tower will do work to the giant, as well as break up the combo so you can address the units individually. A mini P.E.K.K.A addresses all of the smaller glass cannons. Small units like goblins or guards are great against the musketeer and mini P.E.K.K.A. They're one of the best epics in the game if you're fortunate enough to have level 4 guards. Against a splasher such as a wizard, if you only have minion horde or other fragile cards, you're going to need to tank and spank. Plant a temporary tank in place to distract the splash unit. Countering a giant balloon is not that bad. Let's talk balloons first. When a balloon is planted on the very edge, you have to do a 4-1 plant to even consider pulling it. When a balloon is planted on the second tile from the edge, you can do a 3-2 building plant. When a balloon is planted right on the path, you can do the usual 4-3 plant. The Lava Hound behaves a bit differently. You need to do a 3-1 plant. Knowing the optimal tile positions, you can pull the giant and balloon with a 4-1 plant. Ice Wizard messes up the giant balloon combo really hard, but not many people have the Ice Wizard. If you have strong cards that can take out the balloon in one swoop, you can pull the giant the maximum distance with a 4-3 plant to fully utilize both arena towers. Minions are great because they're also air units that obstruct the balloon's pathing. This can be risky if your opponent has arrows and you use minion horde. Be prepared with another card and don't rely just on minions. If you pull both the giant and balloon, a spell or spirit can come in handy to stun, slow, or deal burst damage. Whenever a giant is planted in the very back, be prepared for a big push like Sparky accompanied with a splash unit such as a wizard. Depending on your deck, 
and card rotation. You can lightly pressure the other lane. This causes your opponent to expend elixir. Then address the giant with a 4-3 building plant. Once the giant splits the group, you can zap the Sparky and address the supporting units accordingly. If you don't have zap, skeletons and guards are perfect for absorbing one attack from Sparky. If you don't have any small units to absorb the Sparky, you can do a 5-1 plant and have the building pull the giant and tank one shot from the Sparky. A 4-3 plant will pull the giant, but it won't aggro the Sparky. In a pinch, the giant is great for tanking multiple shots from a Sparky. Tombstone, Furnace, and Goblin Huts are really great at distracting the Sparky too. If there's a Witch protecting their giant, a Zap takes care of that allowing your Inferno Tower to lock onto the giant. Splanks absolutely wreck the Witch, especially if you manage to separate her from the giant. A Triple Musketeer is easily disarmed with Fireball and Zap, or a Double Quick Drop of Fire Spirits and Zap. Check out our Zap video if you haven't watched it already. The only time this combo is trouble is when you're facing an experienced Musketeer user and they execute a split push. You'll need to pull the Giant with a 4-3 plant. Save your Fire Spirits and Zap for the two Musketeers, then Goblins or Mini Tank to address the single Musketeer. This video generalizes a lot of points, but we hope you can take away from this video and apply it in real situations. Thanks for watching, and an even bigger thanks to our Patreon supporters. Stay tuned! for more quality OJ.